Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamria. Welcome everybody back to Valhalla, a cyberpunk barn tender action. Now, last episode, we actually had some drinking sort of night with our boss, and it was pretty fun, just kind of got to chill. But currently, I believe on day 7, I looked online, and there are currently 19 days in total. So, we're sort of halfway through. Sort of. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and just get right into this. As always, make sure you enjoy this playthrough responsibly, especially if you drink, and if you're of age, then feel free to do whatever. I am, though. I think we're gonna make this a trend. Plus, I also have a, a case of beer that I kinda wanna go through. I'm not sure if beer ever goes bad, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, but I still don't wanna just be sitting there lying around, so... I might as well have one, every single playthrough or something. Nevertheless, electricity... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> whatever I pressed just made the message disappear. My bad. Something about electricity bill, 8,000, and we got the item that we needed. Oh, bust up the hoodie anyway. I guess she did. Let's check onto everything. Hmm. We got the nano, nano camo app, that's for our wallpaper and katatsu, I think we're fine for now. Check Reddit, let's see how Reddit or Dangeru is doing. Apollo Bank is getting attacked number 2, 3, and 4, let's check on that. Apollo Bank is getting attacked threat 2. Midi is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented Eye talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost a job due to the Ron Rogue article. It was from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think AE got tired of her. Fucking shame. So will we get on clickbait from now on? <laughs> gonna get worse every year. Uh, gonna get worse at the very least. White Knight say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How? Is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was a security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Inside Anon, you gotta give us more. Do my best here. Thanks, Based Anon. Based Anon. The red is closed. Let's check in this one. Explosion registered! And media is still quiet about it. Can confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do you have any clue in who is doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. This is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh, someone doing stupid shit on the internet is actually being useful. Wow. Well then. <laughs> someone doing dumb shit on the internet is actually being useful. You, you do you, you do you, buddy. Or girl, whoever you are. Hacker. A very productive hacker, congratulations. I like that. Also, I've not been reading any of the messages whatsoever. Seems like a lot was happening while I was gone. And we got number two. Some deep shit happened right there. And number four. Let's check this out. Can't confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from the server around the world. Remember the leak from Alice? There were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage, it's actually pretty unsettling. Damn. The files are available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knight operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attacker was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards a server inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That shit sounds whack. How do you even make a plan like this complex? No idea. But that's what some of the witnesses are telling the, pe the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave. But I'll try to write down all the details for the future post. Gonna need some time though. Godspeed and on. Thanks. Read the reread the file? Nah. We probably should, I'd be kinda cool. I'd be totally down for that. Augmented Eye, let's see what kind of stuff they got going on. Dangerous admin has been arrested. Oh. We were just on there. What's going on? Again. Apparently. Ooh. So what's going on here? Dangerous admin has been arrested again. Cybercrime unit up the admin's ass. December 17th will become second retribution. D uh, B1 day is coming. Balina Smithy. Famous hacker Alice Rabbit graced the popular text board Dangeru with a new threat, which insulted the arrest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for a second time. We have no details to give. Other than the amount of... Other than... Uh, yeah, that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cyber Crime Unit, CCU's Lisette Blink, had told Blank, or Blanc, whatever, <laughs> had told the Augmented Eye during the call, we're not busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. 
When inquired about the arrest, Furfur would only respond with a calm, not this shit again. Very calm, very very calm. Natakam is now making smart underwear. Well, name is Smithy. Actually, let's see what uh, Jill says. Poor guy. Yeah, poor guy indeed. Had to suffer an arrest. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nanocamera has that covered. Already providing customer versions of their advanced Nanocamera fabrics, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties. No, uh, just change its color to black and you will barely notice. The one change the smell though, they're not that advanced. We expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product, a PR representative told the augmented eye. I'm super already... I'm already... Oh, wait, hold on, my bad. I'm already using them. Super comfy, if you ask me. We just thought about looking at prices. Did not. <laughs> They're probably expensive as hell. I mean, the Framen is like 80 bucks. This thing's gonna be expensive. And our electric bill is also 8,000, 8, so... Uh, Jesus. GSF January 4th card announcement 66, Amer 66 American Kid and Giant Yusuke headline. I have no idea. I'm guessing those are artists? Belinda Smithy. The bluff you between Giant Yusuke, I guess Yusuke or y I guess Yusuke? I don't know, whatever. And 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event. But it's only. But it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the Great DK and. Orens. Full card below. 6-6 six, six American Kid vs. John Yusuke GSF Championship. This gotta be boxing or something, right? Martial arts, whatever. Then we got Akito vs. The Great DK. Ray Kama vs. Nagisa, Women's Championship. Roy Campbell vs. Aaron's GSF Junior Championship. Jack Bama Blaze vs. Huli and Kara Kolta Tag Team Championship. Osuna vs. Siegfried. Alright. Wrestling? A boss made me curious. Oh, it is wrestling. Okay, gotcha. Alright, that's pretty cool. I don't think there's much to read on Kiramiki blog. Don't consider what I do to relax. No, this is just the same stuff that we've seen before. We don't need any of this. You know what? Let's go ahead and go to work. Let's go to work. Monday, December 19th. Day number 7 starts, I think? Oh my god, they got new TV ads. What do we have here? Let's check. We got some... Looks like a person from Fallout New Vegas with a cape. We got the channel uh, news about the Alice Rabbit. I buy that for a dollar, guy. Ramen. Oh wait, no, it's not eighty. It's sixty bucks. Still sixty bucks for Roma. That's a ton. Some girl with green bubbles around her. No signal. Wrestling. Hasi zero. And then nothing. Cool. Ah, I'll just leave this on. Why not? Good evening, Gil. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, I remember. Wait, that's how you greet me after so many days? I never doubted you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut you a paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. Damn, poor guy. See, Jill? He's been here on Monday like nothing ever happened. But he'll be here now, like, on Monday. It is Monday, isn't it? Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathroom again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are, or what's trying to come back to bite you in the or what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all hell broke loose. At least give us a sign that you're still alive. So you're worried? Is that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't make ladies worry too much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Oh, the damn cats! Move the damn internet antenna! <laughs> hey boss, why do you leave the noodle- uh, the, uh, the noodle? Why does a noodle hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you would totally look cute in it. I I see. The only thing I'm rejecting a gift from yours is just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Are you still worried about the whole bar closure thing? Of course I am. Not like I can't work because of it, but you know, 
all we can do is enjoy whatever time we have left here as best as we can. Yeah. So, cheer up! Clients smell, <laughs> Clients smell sadness and fear, and we don't want that. I'll go to my office. Okay. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Not really, no. Anyways, let's start the day. I think I'm a- I like the <laughs> Can't even talk today. Wow. This is what happens when you record for a couple of games back to back to back to back to back. Without pacing yourself, you just can't speak whatsoever. My throat actually hurts weirdly. I should check it out, but nah, it'll be fine. Are there any new tracks that we can look for? There might be some new ones, I just kind of skip them. Uh, skim through them. We have a lot less question marks around the place, but I think I'll keep the tracks as they are. They'll be fine. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy's looking for you. Tell him I'll be here in a bit. She'll... um... You heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her though. It's not so weird when you're the BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... She didn't notice! I noticed the thing, BTC, it's as clear right there. She didn't notice. Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry, I know who I'm, who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nicely because of my position anyways. Hand me like I'm just another client. Alright, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. What's a sugar rush? I could do that. Wow, the big the big people are right with us right now. Two Adelheide, okay. One Paddle Delta. Optional Carmatrine, all mixed. Hmm. Now, do we risk it for the biscuit and just overdose them on Carmatrine? Or do we keep it safe? Hmm? Part of me... I feel like we should take an edge off of him and just risk it. Let's we'll just risk it with optional carmatrine. So is this the alcoholic substance? We're gonna max it like crazy. It's optional, and that's that's my optional. <laughs> oh, let's hope his liver doesn't collapse right there on the floor. Let's see what happens. Here. Yeah, that's that's one nice. Back in trading, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? Like the fried eggs of mixed drinks. They're the most basic things, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple now that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Then I have talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have had a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning about Halakad. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now, where to start? You saw the news on the information leak during the Apollo Trust Bank incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from the criminal organization in the ranks? <coughs> Turns out White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folk have been trying to elude illegal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least, not without going through a ton of paperwork first, given the criminal time to cover the tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it had apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. What is about Halakamen? Young bars are the ones under their radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales? Among the reason a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Mm -hmm. If it helps, I'm going to do my best to appeal when you to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of the Glitch City's bars are plain, a uh, pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shaky drinks. This is the one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. And the closest thing to a recent complaint was that the former, uh, the whole farmer fabric affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. 
Wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, with the corgis! Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that now. <laughs> I wouldn't get my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to save face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making an effort is enough. Thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Let's give Brian a suplex. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. The suplex is 4 Bronson Extracts. Good. 3 Flammer Guide. And 3 Carmatrine. No optional Carmatrine. I love optional Carmatrine. I love just, oh, just unloading Carmatrine onto this thing. <laughs> and see if you can get people really, really drunk. Since Carmatrine is like the alcoholic, I guess, substance of a drink. And it's gotta be all on the rocks. And mixed. Not blended, mixed. Good. Here. The registry form said that it was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Oh, so you're Robert? Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert, the one and only. Just called you Jill called you Gil Jill Gil, wow. Jill called you Gildo. Uh it's Argentinian slang. Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. I see. Sorry, Brian. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Gil? Not really, no. Although... Yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely deliver to the correct order, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Well then, ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Stella's back, hello. Hi. Wait, Stella's in- wait, which Stella, which Stella is this? Who is Stella again? Wait, wait, hold on. Is that the Stella that I know? I haven't played this game in forever. Uh, um, Jill was it? Oh! <gasps> It's my Stella! It's my Stella! See, the problem was with Stella is that last time Stella had red letters. This time she has pink letters, which completely threw me off, so I thought it was maybe a different Stella. <gasps> it's Stella! What kind of voice did I give Stella again? Oh lord, I'm gonna have to rework her voice then. I think she was a comma composed one, right? <sighs> the ear twitch <laughs> gets me every single time. <laughs> Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Wait, what? Is that not so then? Just call me Stella. Huh? Sure, on it. Stella asked for a beer, is that... What does she mean by just, just call me Stella? Alright, well, let's first make a drink. I have to make sure it's proper. So I don't mess up. I want to prime myself on being able to make drinks properly. All mixed. Alright, here you go. And I'll have one as well, why not? Okay, what's going on here? Somebody tells me this is not Stella. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair end. Oh. Right, that. So she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I'd had. Yeah, I figured as much. Man, the air is suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound a bit condescending. What does one do in this kind of situation? This is really awkward. Maybe a joke? Nah, it's probably tasteless. Okay, just try to say anything. At the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough. I don't think literally went under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there was a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I I'm a bit on edge. A private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art. Van. 
no, Vandalay. Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually heard from him yesterday. Hired him yesterday to look for say. For say. Hey, I can't speak. So we still have hope. I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? Oh, is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he is quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about say, whatever that might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Let's give Stella something sweet to calm her down. Alright, by flavor. What is going on with Stella? What's happening with her? Stella, what's going on, girl? What's happening? Let's give her a sugar rush. You know, nothing... Mmm, it could... Mmm... Part of me really wants to give her a sugar rush. Blue Fairy, Moonblast, Brantini, Piano Woman. Blue Fairy is a pretty good one as well. Has optional karma between. It's sweet, girly, and soft. What about Sugar Rush? Sweet, girly, and happy. I feel like soft would calm her down better. Sweet, girly, happy. Let's give her. Let's give her Blue Fairy, right? Sweet. A lot of these will make your teeth turn blue. Hope you brush them well. I think it'll be alright. See, I'm thinking sweet would have you know would give her some good feel you know good feelings because I mean sweet drinks are just sweet drinks. Girly, I don't know. I guess we feel her type soft. I feel like happy would make her happy, but soft would keep her calm. I think. Part of me wants to go with another. Ah, oh, Jesus. I don't know if this is gonna affect me or not. Uh, piano woman, maybe. Sweet promo and happy, no. It's just something sweet and girly. Oh, Jesus, do we do soft or happy? Soft or happy? No, sugar rush. Let's just go with happy. Happiness should calm her down. I hope. And because I think she might need it, I'm just gonna boost her the hell up. See if we can calm her down a little bit. Since we can't, we can't, we have to find a way to break this awkward tension, right? We have to. And this is the only way I know how to. Just. Overloaded on boost. <laughs> Way too much. Alright, there you go. Here. Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say is more than a friend to me. She's. She's. Sorry, I brought up the topic at a bad time. Ahem. <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm used as pile of flesh. Damn, she's harsh herself. Stella, you need to lighten up, girl, a little bit. Good lord, she's she's doing a lot of bad stuff right now. Shit. <laughs> I realized that I'm kind of maybe giving her a little special, you know, preferential treatment because she has the ears. <laughs> but at the same time, she's actually a pretty cool character. She's pretty neat. She actually cares about people, like say, good for her. Even though Say's constantly putting herself up in a far land of danger, kind of. Not really, sort of. I mean, she did go to the bank and everything. Anyway, the girl's worried. We're gonna try to booze her up and. Make her calm down, that's what we're gonna do. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could come. Well, for given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Gil, please serve with Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Breaks already? Wow, that was a fast break. Shit. <laughs> That was a really, really fast break. Usually it takes a while. Well, I'll still save nevertheless. How many pages of save file do we still got left? I'm on page 4, I think that's as far as it goes. 
There we go. It's not safe to keep playing, and I will gladly keep playing. We'll see where this goes. Hopefully Stella will be alright. Oh, we gotta click something, don't I? There you go. God damn, is it chilly outside? I'm gonna keep the same box. Who changed the channel? I wanted to see the super the super person. That's what I like. I'm gonna stick with this. I like this channel. I'm back. Huh? What's going on here? Art. What would a kid like you know about that, eh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Mm, let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat boomer girl greets him. Boomer girl. I guess that's Stella. Cat boomer girl greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zabat's core off hand. After that, the guy got riled up and started badmouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Oh, the, oh this guy! Oh! What kind of voice did I give him? I forgot the voice that I gave him, but I'm gonna have to give him like a, a very... He looks like a very... I mean, he has a scar he's wearing a scarf inside. He's probably very snooty, so I'm gonna try to give him a, a very snooty voice. Maybe. Well, I won't deny that Batsukura is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by shining new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? What do you think Glitch City is mocking called the guinea pig of the world? We just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgement. But can you deny that the meddling of Zabatsa Corps have brought a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AI as citizens. Yes, we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we are also the world's most Lillian prison. We are also the world's- oh, we are world's Lillian prison, okay, getcha. AI went rogue, transfer to a delivery drone or ship it over to Glitch City. That murderer is not delivering your pizza. Fair point. Excuse me about that. Although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88 success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zabatsa core success have made more and more companies bring the products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just mean more people who will plan to feed no face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Zabatsu Corps, main medical research branch, has also made lots of discoveries. More and more, il more and more illness previously thought incurable and being dressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortage almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies coming back, coming down here need personnel. So your unemployed rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a Zen Star. Sure, let's make a Zen Star for that sore baby. Damn, <laughs> a Zen Star. I think, I don't think we have... No, the Zen Star was there before. Four of each ingredients, all in rocks and mixed. Do you think something so balanced would actually taste nice? You'd be dead wrong. Sal Promo Bland. Oh yeah, he was the only person that actually ordered a Zen Star before, didn't he? I'm pretty sure. Let's go and give him a solid Zen Star. Two, 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 two. All right, four of each. I think we're good. All on rocks and mixed. Zen Star. Here. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something. You do bring up something. Always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are, limit, are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belong only to a few. And even those that can be assessed by everyone, ac accessed by everyone, are more likely to improve in a bigger picture. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Sorry. Credit where credit is due, don't you think? That's uh. 
pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are, points are too fragile to defend against someone. Yeah, mature. Whatever. I think I'm, I'm getting a pretty good voice though. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about the job that I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does it mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started, or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. We only found one totally disfigured, but witness identi witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you just call him here? No, he just happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks, keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope is the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Sam might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um... Just give me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <sighs> On it. Two bad touches. Better make them better make them before I laugh too hard. Wow. <laughs> Alright, let's do some bad touches then. Uh, bad touch. Sour classy and vintage. We nothing but mammals after all. Damn. Alright, Bronson extract. Two battle delta. Oh, no optional combatrine. I love drinks with optional combatrine. On rocks. And mixed. Next. Same thing, round some extract, two paddle delta. I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. I want to make sure that I get all my drinks properly without a mess up. Because honestly, that'd be absolutely lame if I messed up. Rocks, and mixed. Plus, I also would love to be able to, like, actually get the money so I can buy certain things, as well as pay the rent and all the bills and stuff. That'd be fantastic. Let's serve both two bad touches. I remember this one part party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found out, found one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they didn't seem offended to me though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Won't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay Gil? I am... <laughs> now that you think about it, did you find that girl you were looking for for a week ago? Mr. Don De Mr. Von Delay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for a crimson rose that happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about was say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbot gone haywire by herself. She didn't need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... What's Krav Maga? Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot all about that. Say not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. <sighs> I just hope she's... well, whatever she, whatever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. <laughs> well, it's kinda cute, actually. It's kinda cute. The relationship that Stella and Say have is kinda adorable. <laughs> you want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay then, I'll have a piano man. And you, Miss Stella? I'm fine. Get his order. One piano man for the detective. Okay, let's make a piano man, ladies and gents. Piano man. This drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. Sour, promo, and strong. Ah, oh, no option. I. Oh god. We need to get people drunk. I really would love to see more people just act weird when they're drunk. Good. Five flannel guide. Mm-hmm. Three karma tree. So let's see. Two, three, five, five, three. Rocks. And mixed. Okay, we good. Here. 
So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. Alright, I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Mr. Miss Hoshi. Please do. Right then. You're being generous today. He made my night with his discovery and safe situation. Ah. I don't know why, it's so cute. Oh my god, that smile. <laughs> She's honestly my favorite character ever. I think it's just the ears and her very cool composed attitude. I like her. Let's keep going. I'm not totally over it, but at least I get distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshi. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. Aww. <laughs> that smile. <laughs> Gets me every time. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. Alright then, that'll be all, Dana. Quite a mess the situation with, um, Robert. Who is this over here? Hello? Ryan, you'll be meeting an hour with MI6 Hall C. Alright, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Ah, Brian. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Um... This holophone is an old model, so hey, <laughs> hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. Say... You guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. So it's- oh, it's a phone! Okay, so... Because it's so- oh! She's not hurting anyone, and wouldn't you say it's more interesting that what- It finally hung up. Phew, it's been quite a day. At least the streets are calm today. Who is this? I have uh, <coughs> arrived yet again at the- <coughs> Oh god! At the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Who is this? Calm until now. <gasps> oh, this guy, Virgilio! Oh my lord, I miss the man! We we'll meet again, bartender! I can finally get my act together, my dramatic... Uh... Drama? <laughs> my dramatic act of... I don't know. I actually have no idea what to call this. What, do you, what, is, what is this voice that I'm doing here? The drama. The... I don't know. The suspense. I don't know what kind of voice that is. I guess it's a very dramatic voice. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imposes on letters. Look at my beautiful question mark unibrow. Isn't it glorious? <laughs> they want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. You look winded, Virgilio. We're all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling up until it decides not to win this anymore. And yet you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake, huh? Eh... What can we get that's fake? Um, nothing but mammals after all. The Russian brew beer had become luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. So that's a fake. It is a fake. It is beer. It's not traditional brew beer, but it's actually a, a fake. We could do this. Hmm. What else we got here? So the name of this drink three times in front of a mirror and you look like a fool. Bleeding Jane. So unnecessarily brown. One this will make your teeth turn blue. Nope. Smog assholes. It's like your paint served in a cup that had a bit of coal left. Knock drunk to side of you and knock you out cold. Hmm. So I drink an ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. PG rated shows, uh huh. Kind of unbearable. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards. Hard on. A uh, hard on cannon. Drink does not represent the opinions. Pretty woman, but he was complained. Burn his heart and tongue. A sparkle. Uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna go with beer. Since beer is not a thing, not traditional brew beer, this is kind of a fake beer, I guess. Probably it's classic and vintage. I could be getting wrong. We'll see.
to Flannel Guide. But if I had to choose this or what I'm drinking right now, I'll probably choose what I'm drinking right now. <laughs> I don't know what this are. I don't know what Bronson Extract, Adder Hide, Powder, Dead Type, Flannel Guide, or Carmatrine do. It sounds like, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like stuff written on the back of Red Bull. All of this. All mixed though. But it's not a real beer, so I guess we can give him this. Here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Was there no way to... <laughs> get this wrong? We might have gotten it right, I don't know yet. Say, Virgilio, what do you work? I take the noble duties of creator at the steampunk museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and keeps it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits, you're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Eh? He still fails to realize that I am the creator here. Without me, all these machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those who can't do. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah, something tells me he doesn't work at the museum. He just touches things. But he treats it like a jam or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Oh, he's a janitor, never mind. <laughs> challenge, he says. I want purity. Who wants purity? I can't give him pure ingredients, so... Um, purity, purity, purity. Nothing but mammals after all. Traditional beer. beer. Name of this drink three times? Nope. Unnecessarily brown. This make your teeth turn blue? No. It out to smog assholes, so it's fine. Champagne served in a cup that had a bit of cola. Nah. Knock your drunkenness out of you. Nope. A couple of these make your tongue feel velvety. Most of them you'll be sleeping. Uh, most of them and more of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. Eh. There's no purity there. At least I don't think. So we're drinking ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Peachy rated shows. Unbearable. Wait, what about the peachy rated shows? Frothy water? Nah. Punch made of innards. Not to leave your face red like an actual planet. No thermometer was harmed in the creation of this drink. Oh! Well, it's pure because it doesn't have thermometer, I guess. Or mercury. Prince of the Bar Pianist Union. Cold Pretty Woman. Burning Hunt and Tongue. Actual sparkle. Sweet Latin Fruity as girly as it gets. Hmm. Chocolate milk with a good smell attacked. Small toast of pile driver. I think I'm gonna give him a sugar rush, because that seems like sweet, light, and fruity as girly as it gets. Seems like it would be pure, right? I feel like it would be pure. And the fact that it has optional karma train as a game of some ideas. I wanna get this guy freaking buzz. I wanna get him. I don't know. I just wanna I just wanna see what happens. Yeah. All mixed. Sugar rush. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. <sighs> hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have you met before? Mm, can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Ah, uh, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have you met someone before? That face? That eye? What about my punk? <laughs> we have met everywhere after all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um... Do you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit, the Vir Oh shit, the Virgilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were we talking about to O'Brien? Well, we were mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while, I offered him a drink when he last what he met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. 
Oh, I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with, with that one when the time comes. Ah, no. He was also turning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer, you meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy. An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Jill? Yeah. It must be nothing. Okay, clearly Gil, like, clearly Gil is, like, part of some sort of mafia, right? He's part of some sort of mafia, he's part of maybe Alice Rabbit as a group or whatever, and maybe he's like an assassin. And we are the people that are harboring assassins or somebody <laughs> that go away. Yeah, because he went away, something happened to the bank, now he's back. Okay, so nevertheless, let's check it out. Total earnings, 20,000. Solid. Drinks total, 1170. Not bad. Zero mistakes, commission, 30%. Rising up, that's good. Raise payment, 351. Tips, 1150. Damn, that's awesome. Flawless service bonus, 500. Brian told me to give this to you, 500. Today's total transfer, 2501. Total funds, 7282.50. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Your electricity bill will be sent on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 8,000 needed. Scroll on the 20th. I think we'll be fine. Jill's a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager will prevent her from getting too distracted. Alright, let's check it out. Let's go buy a shoulder massager. Uh, shop. Shoulder massager. Shoulder massager. PC 9000. Vintage gaming. Nope. A lantern, be your discount, shoulder massager. For those days when you build up too much tension. Cool. Jill brought what she wanted. She's really pleased with herself. She will surely focus on work. Where is it? Usually, when you buy something, it actually appears in your room, and I don't see it anywhere. I see that lamp thing. I see the plant. I see the wallpaper, but I don't see the shoulder massager anywhere. I have no idea. Anyway. Let me check the time here. Uh... Eh... I'm thinking maybe playing a little bit more. Maybe. I think it'd be kinda cool. I'd be totally down for that. Or could we just... Mm, part of me wants to keep going, part of me wants to take a little break. Uh... Jesus Christ. I think I'll just take a break right here for now. The more I play, the more I wanna, like, keep playing and just not stop, to be honest. It just... Every single chapter is kinda lengthy, so... It, Takes a while to get through it. It is day. We are on day eight, so we're pretty much almost halfway through. Since there are roughly nine chapters, so I think yeah, pretty much almost halfway through with it. Let's we'll see if I can make these things a little bit longer and maybe release them a lot more often. Nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Dan. Real like, subscribe, and as always, have a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Valhalla Cyber Park Bartender Action. See you guys. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the <laughs> Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing yet. <laughs> I kinda wanna say you could dress better. <laughs> <laughs>